When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Hey everybody, Happy New Year. Great to see you all. Thank you for being with me today. Great to see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. You're with The Long Bearded Guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you for spending some of your, your limited resource called time with me today. I really, really appreciate that. We got an amazing show today. We're going to kick off the year unbelievably well. We want to get after it. Uh, I really, really appreciate people reaching out. And, and I've had thousands of people now reach out and say hi and, and comment and questions and like and love and share. If you're in with me today, get into the chat room. If you can get in the chat room, um, uh, our producers will let you in and, and give you, you want to be in my live studio audience. But in, if you get in the chat, let me know you're there. And I know there's a bunch of people watching today or listening today, um, more listening than watching, I guess, uh, that are on the move and are, are traveling and are other, at other events and other things going on. And I want to welcome all of them from all over the place. I want to give a shout out to Cherry Hill, New Jersey, where the AMA people, there's 16 of my, of my friends that are launching their books today. That's amazing. Congratulations to you all. And I wish I could be in that space. I am in spirit with you all. Congratulations on the launches of your books, and I can't wait to read them. I've bought most of them, I think, uh, but I can't wait till they get here and I can read them. So um, we want to talk. This is it's been wildly humbling uh, to to be able to connect with so many people. This journey has been absolutely amazing. It was in 2022, but interestingly enough, we're moving forward. My my business coach, and if if you're working with a coach that doesn't have a coach. I always question that a little bit. We, we all have blind spots. We all have things that we can't see. We all need that, that other perspective to, to flow into that, to raise us up and raise us up and lift us up. And, and that continue. If you're really, really serious about personal development and you really want to grow, whether you're a coach or not, you should have a coach. And so my coach was telling me, Gord, we want to do some things strategically, not just tactically going forward and, and we're going to talk about that today but but what I'm what I want to talk about is just really really zone in on um, I can't step into the future I can't step into 2023 still thinking in 2022 because what got me to where I am today will not get me where I want to go tomorrow so being able to to grab this stuff I mean we we upgrade our technology the new phone comes out we want to grab it Right, we, we, We're always, always upgrading our technology, but we're not upgrading ourselves. What's that about? We need to be upgrading ourselves at least as much as we upgrade our technology. Come on, let, let, we need to raise this stuff up. We need to grow, intentionally grow, put it out there. Um, it's not what others say about us that's going to defeat us. It's what we say about ourselves. And you've heard me say this before, other people's opinions don't matter. But what we say to ourselves is what's going to defeat us. Other people talking smack and other people bringing us down. Oh, that's not what's going to defeat us. What's going to defeat us is us and our, our own, what's going on between that six inches between our, between our ears. That's what's going to defeat us. That's what's going to bring us down. And I want to going forward into, into 2023, I want to use some new stuff. I want to do some strategic uh, shows going forward that that are set in a specific way to be able to help as a resource for not just myself but for you going forward and so I want you to dial in if you don't have a journal and a pen grab something to write down with because I, I'm going to give you some things I want you to write this stuff down and today's show is about prep for 2023 we're on the we're on the just started it's we're less than a week in to the first week of of 2023, it, we have to be prepared. If you haven't written down your, your, not just your goals, but what's your definite major purpose and what's your vision for your life. If you haven't written those things down, you need to write those things down. How the, how the hell do you get to a place without, without a map to get there? So I, I want to really encourage you today. Um, we all pay and we're going to talk today. It's uh, success requires payment in advance is the name of the show today. I guess you should have started with some of that. But success requires payment in advance. You, there's, no, there's no layaway program. There's no, there's no hey, I want to make payment. You can't do that. You have to make the payments up front. 
and, and some of us have been making payments and we'll all be making payments, continue to make payments if we want to move forward. And I think that's where people jump off and go, I don't want to make the payment anymore. I don't want, I want the success. I want the result, but I don't want to do the work it takes to get there. It's too hard. It's too painful. It causes too much of me. It costs too much of me. I'm not willing to let me go at that level, at that rate. And they step out. I, I want to challenge you, stay in the game, keep the irons in the fire, keep pressing. Why? Because it's not easy. It's not, it, it's going to be hard for sure, but it's worth it in the end. It's worth it. And, and we, I've talked a couple of weeks ago about our destiny, our legacy and what we're leaving behind. Legacy is not an end of life thing. Legacy is what we pour into other people. Legacy is what we pour into other people. We're doing that every day, whether we realize that or not, whether we acknowledge that or not, whether we like that or not, positive or negative, we're, we're pouring into people. So this, I want, I want my 2023 to, to pour into people. I want to, I want to intentionally make sure that I'm giving you what you need and giving you some of the bits and pieces that will help. And, and as part of your, as part of your regime, if you're doing other things, that's great. I want to be able to be a part of all of those things for you. I want to add to the other things that you're doing. But I talk a lot about the challenges. We push back on the challenges that come into our life. The challenge with that is, and, and the part that causes issues, is that the challenges that we face are the dirt that hold the nutrients we need to grow. Just like a seed, you put it in the ground. The dirt that's around it hold the nutrients it needs to grow. The challenges we all face, and if you're not facing any challenges, you're not pushing hard enough. No offense. If you don't have new problems all the time, all the time, all the time, you're not pushing hard enough. Let's, let's go. And, and you know what? I'm a little bit wound up today a little bit because I, I, this has been pushing and pushing and pushing on me. And I'm thinking about it and thinking about it. And, and some people have challenged me and I'm, I'm looking at my, my 2023 and going, you know what? I need to move forward. Yes, there's health stuff. And yes, there's, we, we all have challenges. We all have stuff going on. I got to move, be moved my whole family, schools, work, job, everything moved by the end of, uh, the end of March. March 31st, we have to be out of a place we've been in for more than a decade. Does that add some stress and some anxiety and some other challenge? Yes, for sure it does. But you know what? We're going to meet that challenge head on. And we're going to find whatever. It's going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. And you know what? We're going to get there. Is it hard? Yes. Does it add challenge? Yes. But yes, I can. And so can you. So I want to make sure we're all, we're all on, that, on that bits and pieces. We can't step into the future holding on to and thinking in the past we can't do it we have to let 2022 go take the take the lessons take the things we learned hopefully we journaled that stuff so that we have it but going forward let's let's move to another thing let's raise it up let's step up a level let's increase our game I'm challenging you let's increase our game what uh, pay what so success requires payment in advance pay what and why? Value is in the eyes of the beholder. What do I mean by that? I remember in the car business, this gentleman came into one of the dealerships I worked in one day and, and had these, they were knockoff Rolexes. And, and, and they were 200, they were really, really good ones. I, I have a real one, but this, they're really, really good knockoffs. They're really good knockoffs, but they were 250 bucks. And, and a normal, normal Rolex like that, you're pushing two grand. The one that the, the, that particular one. And one of the young guys said, oh, I'm all over that. I'm all over that. And, and he paid the 250 bucks in cash right on the spot. He went to an ATM and came back and paid the guy. And he was laughed at by some of the other older guys going, you're out of your mind, 250 bucks for a knockoff? Now it's a good knockoff, but that 250 bucks? But he saw the value. That young man saw value in $250 for something that looked like a Rolex. We all have things like that in our life. I used to collect movies and sports memorabilia. People go, what the, they see no value in that. I know people that spend huge amounts. I spend a small fortune on books and programs and, and um, personal development, huge amounts of money that other people would look at and go, why do you buy the book? Just Kindle it. Download it from online for free. Why, why do you have, no, 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 I want to hold it. 
I, I want to have it in my hand. One of my buddies, J.R. Spears' book, new book, but I, and he's he's another host on on Inspired Choices Network. So find his podcast, so find his his show. But my point is, I want to hold it. I want to be able to look and touch and feel. That's what's important to me. That value, because I'm going to destroy this book. I'm going to have to buy another one because I'm going to highlight and underline and put notes in the margins and I'm going to write all over the place inside this book. I can't do that with an Audible. I can't do that with Kindle. I have to, I want to be able to hold it. So that has value for me. But other people look at it and go, I don't understand. But it doesn't matter what other people think. Their opinions doesn't mean shit in the grand scope of everything. It doesn't mean anything. Their opinion doesn't matter. Your journey is for you. My journey is for me. Value is in the eyes of the beholder. It's in the, what you see. And I'm going to challenge you over the next while to be you unapologetically unabashedly with no regret be you be you why because nobody else can be first of all you are you better than anybody else and you know what at the end of the day trying to meet up to somebody else's expectation of who maybe you should be is bs it's not that it, you shouldn't do that why we, we stress and we struggle and we do all these things to try and get it doesn't matter their opinion does not matter. Let all that shit go. It's not important. You be you, 100% authentically you. And people that don't like that will gravitate away, and that's fine. You have to be okay with that. But at the end of the day, you be you. And let the chips fall where they may. And the people that are attracted to the fact that you're authentic will gravitate towards you. And that's perfect. That's exactly what it should be. Exactly what it should be. How bad do you want it? Napoleon Hill, one of the pieces and, and certified to teach that, but one of the bits and pieces of Napoleon Hill is called something called a burning desire. It's in your belly, it's just, I want, it's not just, I kind of like to have that. No, 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 it's a must. I have to have it. I have to have that. Once it gets to that level where you absolutely must have that burning desire, nothing will stop you from getting it. You'll do the things it takes to get there. You'll do the steps. You'll put in the time. You'll do the practice. Kobe was amazing, but everybody, very few people paid attention. Even NBA players didn't pay attention. He was thousands and thousands of hours doing the mundane, boring shit that nobody wants to do. And he would do it for hours and hours and hours. Why? That's what made him elite. So he could perform when he needed to be there. He was elite. But nobody wants to put in. Most people do not want to put in. I shouldn't say nobody. Most people don't want to do that. The boring, mundane BS stuff that you have to do to be able to be and, and show up the way you're supposed to. Stop trying to drag everybody else's expectations of you around. Stop trying to bring your own expectation of what you think you should be. Stop shitting all over yourself. I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done the other thing. I did a show about it a few, few weeks ago. Go find that. But, but we stop, stop doing that. I should have. That's regret. Stop that. Regret why? It's over. You can't do anything about it. You can't change it. Move forward. Be okay with it. Let it go and move forward. You can't have regret about something you chose not to do. I hope that's resonating. I hope you're feeling, and I say that a lot. I hope you feel my heart because I'm really wound up today about, about moving forward, about raising the bar. And not just for me. I, I, great leaders lift the people around them. They lift others. They're not trying to jack themselves up. There's a whole whack of stuff in the U.S. at the moment. <laughs> If you follow any of that, one person trying to jack themselves up, trying to get to where they, they, maybe they shouldn't be, and they don't have the support of the people around them, but they keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, even when it's not, it doesn't look like it's supposed to happen that way. But that's because everybody knows he just wants to be the guy. He wants to be, for what? He wants to have that so that he can say, hey, I am. Not so he can do stuff for other people. I, I hope you feel that. 
I got to take a quick break. I want to do a quick shout out uh, to two of my uh, my founder uh, sponsor partners. Incredible. Jose Escobar is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. He's actually in Cherry Hill releasing his first book, launching his first book today. So congrats, uh, Jose. Love you, brother. Uh, check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening routine mastery program that's changing people's lives. Literally, it is. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up a free strategy session with uh, Jose Escobar today. And you want to you want to level up? Do a morning and evening routine. Have some kind of routine in the morning and evening. And Jose is a great person to teach that. The other person, my sponsor, Kat Schwarz, is the founder and CEO of a groundbreaking company called Compassionate Healing Services and offers a completely unique approach to treating physical and mental health challenges. Check her out on Instagram at Compassionate Healing Services or email her at info at CompassionateHealingServices.com. I had a good conversation with her yesterday. She's got some very, very, very exciting things going on. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't divulge all that at the moment, but stay tuned for that because she's got some very, very cool stuff happening. So that, that, those are the two I want to point out and, and shout out to uh, sponsors. I appreciate all my sponsors, but those are the ones I wanted to do shout out for today. So we, we don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about sacrifice being hard, but worth it when we come back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you in a minute. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody! Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate it. I hope your 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 journals out. I hope you're writing some of this stuff down because some of the things are are we want to remember, but we just won't. Um, we want to, but we just won't. So I hope you're writing some of this stuff down. We're talking about success requiring payment in in advance. Success requiring payment in advance. You have to pay it up front, and there's no you can't get discounts. They don't have sales. It, it just is. You have to pay it, and we've all been paying, and we'll continue to pay if we want to stay on this ride. If we want to stay on that personal development ride, we have to, have to, have to pay up front. And so, and, and what uh, we talked about what uh, paying, uh, paying what? Sometimes it's, it could be money for sure. Sometimes it's time. Sometimes it's energy. Sometimes it's sacrifice that we have to choose to do one thing over another thing because this is what's more prudent in the moment than, than that. Sometimes we, we talk about, I know they had come to Richard Branson a few years ago, a charity had come to him and said, hey, can you come and talk to our people? We'll, we'll pay you. And, and he said, no. And they said, oh, all right. Uh, all right. So they reduced the amount of time and increased the amount of money. And he still said no. And they're like, uh, OK, um, you don't like our charity? Like, what's the deal? And, and so they, again, reduced the amount of time and increased the amount of money. And he still said no. And his people, they said, why? He doesn't like our stuff. He doesn't like our charity. And, and he said, no, no, it has nothing to do with your charity. I have three goals this year. 
I have to get done. Just three goals. Three things I absolutely must get done. And if what you're asking me to do does not get me closer to completing one of those three goals, he said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm like, damn, that's discipline to do that at that level, to be that dialed in. But that's a burning desire. That's, you know what, I have to, have to, have to get to this. I will unequivocally get to this. And once we get there to that level of desire, that level of burning I've got to, we will get where we want to go. So sacrifice is hard, but worth it. What does that mean? Well, you know what? We're, we're sacrificing bits and pieces. Are you, are you look at what, first of all, are you planned for 2023? Do you have a hard written, clear, concise copy of what your 2023 is going to look like? Do you have, have you chosen a word for 2023? That's going to, that's, you're going to look at and think about and, meditate with and, and is going to is going to really dial in and focus your year what is the what's your one word for for 2023 mine's quan so it's a combination of it's a jerry Maguire thing but it's not just the money it's the it's the lifestyle it's the the friends and the and the doing the activities and being a certain way as well as it's all the bits and pieces financially but spiritually and socially and economically all the different bits and pieces of our life all wrapped up into one. I want to try and that's the goal this year is to bring it all together. But do you have a word? Do you have a plan? Do you have a, a vision for your life, for your whole life that's concise and clear, crystal, and, and, and you know exactly what you want them to put on your headstone? I've done some shows about that. Go back and listen. But do, do you have that for 2023? Do you have a game plan set out yet? And if you do, congratulations, that's awesome. If you don't, what the hell are you doing? Come on. I know we're busy. We're all busy. We all have stuff going on. All of us have challenges. All of us have things that we fight with and things that, that take us off course and stop us maybe from doing what we want to do or could prevent us. That's a choice we make. Are we going to let the things that happen to us derail us from what we want? Once it gets to a, I have to, have to, have to, Nothing will derail us, not what anybody says, not what happens around us. Nothing, nothing will stop us from having what we want to have. But that takes sacrifice. That takes going, you know what? I'm going, to, I'm going to go and do the things that I need to do to get to my goal instead of partying this weekend. Or instead of going to what, I, it, it, and there's nothing wrong with those things. There's nothing wrong with partying. There's nothing wrong with spending time with doing something. But you know what? If you surround yourself with, average people that aren't pushing forward that aren't trying to advance guess what happens to you you become average just like the rest of them if that's what you want that's fine and and, and my message isn't for you maybe but but you know what if you want to push forward if you want to be better than you were yesterday it's not about this monster huge change right? You can make a change, but we've got nudged off. If someone really gave us a shove off our course, we would notice that and go, hey, hey, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 right? But that's not what happens typically. We get a little bit of a push and a little bit of a bump and a little bit of a bump and a little bit of a bump. And the next thing we know, we're way over here and we're like, how the hell did I get here? It didn't happen overnight. It's not going to come back overnight. I can change my whole life today by the decisions and choices I make. Can my whole life change today? No, probably not. But I can change the course of my life today by choosing to do the things I know I need to do today to get to where I want to be at the end of 2023. Make good choices. Make better choices. You, you've the best way to predict the future is for you to design it and then execute. You've heard me say, uh, and, and other people have said, the path to, uh, to hell is paved with good intentions. And, and, and I, I think it's, I, I don't think that's wrong. What I think is wrong is the fact, pardon me, I think that that is wrong. That concept is not correct. It's not complete. Let's say that. It's not complete. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. It's not the good intentions that were the problem. It's the lack of execution, the 
doing of those. And I talk a lot about being instead of doing, right? Because I think we get stuck in the doing, 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 and we forget who we're being. But once we understand who we're being and know who we want to be and where we want to, who we want to become, then we have to do, we have to execute a plan to get there. So it's not that the in, good, have good intention. That's great. You have to have that good intention. We need to put that good intention out. But then execute on the good intention. Don't just let it sit there. Don't just let good, good intention paved or road to hell paved with good intention. It's because they didn't execute it. It's because they didn't do anything about it. Why? Because it takes sacrifice. It takes putting ourselves out for somebody besides ourselves with the right intention underneath that. If we have an agenda underneath what we're doing, there's going to, people are going to, it's, it's disingenuous. They're going to, they're going to know, Hey, you know what? Something isn't quite right. And I don't know what that is. I feel in my gut, something isn't correct or something's not quite right. Why? Because, because it's disingenuous. If the goal at the end is to be able to use other people to get what you want, it's not going to work. The leaders people follow are, are leaders that lift people around them up, that create other leaders, literally. Other people that are making a massive positive impact on the world. And whether you like it or not, we're all making a, uh, an impact on the world. And in some cases, way bigger than we believe or, or were understood uh, without even realizing that it's there. And again, I talked about that in my, my, my show about destiny and about legacy listen to that because there's some really good nuggets in there so uh, uh talking about uh jocko actually um if you know who that is uh he's a former navy seal retired navy seal incredible human being um but he talked about i read something or heard something he uh, him talking just recently and he said he wanted strategic his plan for 2023 and 2023 is strategic not just tactical. When we're young, it's tactical. It's just, hey, I want to get this done. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's tactical. It's just a do. Now he's at a point where he's like, no, no, I want to be strategic. I want to be strategic in my, in my relationships. I want to be strategic in my business. I want to be strategic in my, my acquaintances and who I'm talking to and where I spend my time, who I spend my time with. Why? Because that is going to influence what his 2023 looks like. And it does for all of us. That's exactly what's going to happen. You surround yourself with, with people that are at a higher level than you. You're going to get to a higher level because you're hanging out with them. Why? Because they're going to challenge you. And you're going to start to understand people that are appreciating that you're showing up 100% authentically. You, They're going to appreciate that, which is going to encourage you to do it some more. And the next thing you know, you're up a little bit. Vibration goes up. Everything goes up. Surround yourself. I challenge you. You want long-term thinking not short-term we want long-term vision why because that's what counts it's a long game you want to play the long game you want to be in the moment right here right now i talk about that when we go to breaks and I, sometimes i remember and sometimes i don't but to in the to pause and breathe pause and breathe in the moment why because that's grounding you and it's putting you in the space of right here right now Nothing happened before now. Nothing's happening after right now. I need to live in the moment right now doing the things that are going to give me what I want and where my des burning desire is long term. Because if I do that and give myself the gift of being present, interesting, in the moment right now, I will get where I want to go when I look up. But I have to do those pieces and I have to be focused. So. We're going to go to another break. I want to do another quick shout out. But as we go to a break, I want you to remember to pause and breathe. Pause and breathe. Center yourself. Okay. All right. The, the two shout outs, again, are with um, Kat Schwarz. She's the owner and founder of Compassionate Healing Services. And if you email her at info at compassionatehealingservices.com and mention that you heard about uh, her from the long bearded guy, You'll receive 20% off one of her services. That's $100 savings off Kat's most unique offering, which is spiritual private investigation services. Kat will use her skills as an evidential medium to reconnect you with a loved one who crossed over and provide proof of their continued presence in your life. 
no energy created or destroyed. That means they're still here in some form or another. They're still here. She's an incredible, incredible human and has a amazing service. Email her at info at compassionate healing services.com. And don't forget to mention that you heard about that from the long bearded guy. The other one I want to talk about uh, just real quick mention is Jose Escobar, founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Can't wait to see what happens with him this weekend as he launches his book um, on the morning and evening routine, actually. But anyway, check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership, which will take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow and connect like never before. Again, I might talk about raising. Uh, Jose talks about a rising tide lifts all boats. That's one of his things. So this, the, the Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest levels entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today, and you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. Again, that's theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. Jose Escobar and Kat Schwarz, thank you. Thank you so much for being sponsor, founding sponsor partners with me that, that get this out. I can't do it without them. I can't do that without you, the listener. Don't go anywhere. We want to talk about um, a, a great big four syllable word uh, in the next in the next segment that will that will tie into that and will encapsulate the, the concept for us. So uh, don't go anywhere. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you on the other side. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for sticking with. Thank you for coming back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you so much for being with me today. I appreciate that more than you know and more than I can express. So uh, thank you for that. Um, we want to talk real quick. We've been talking about success requires payment in advance. So you have to pay. There's no there's no payment plan. You have to pay it up front at whatever the cost is, excuse me, whatever the cost is, right? There's no discount. They, they don't discount it. And so anyway, the, we have to see the value. If we see the value, we'll pay it and then we'll move forward and it'll allow us to grow. So one of my, one of my uh, mentors at the moment, Dr. Obum, uh, if you know who that is, great guy, but his word for 2023 is convergence. Convergence. And so I went to look that up and find out what that meant and listen to him share what that means to him. But convergence is bringing together everything to bear on one's experience towards success. So bringing all these different bits and pieces together and then focusing them to get a change in your experience, focusing that on all of the, those things, all of those ideas and, and systems and processes and all the different things bringing them to bear on and highly focus them, right? Um, 
bring it all in and then have this one laser beam that, that brings it all together, that convergence of all of that stuff coming to bear on our experience and watching what happens with that. If you take as the sun, right, as, as kids, we would try and, uh, you know, with a magnifying glass, we would try and light little pieces of paper and leaves and stuff on fire, right? But the sun's coming down, it's all over the place, everywhere. What did the, what did the magnifying glass do? It convergence, it brought all that sunlight together and focused it in inside the, it collected it inside of the magnifying glass and then one light shone out, which made it even more powerful. If that makes sense, it brought all that light together and then focused it in one stream to get heat, extreme heat that, that set that, that leaf or paper on fire. That's what we want all the different bits and pieces. What he wants is all the different bits and pieces of his life, laser focused, all brought together. It's the same concept of if, if I take one finger and, and hit something with my one finger, will I get some kind of a power from that? Yes, I can. Two fingers, yeah, more power. But if I put my all my fingers together and then curl them up in a ball, I can knock somebody out. Why? Because the power of all of that wrapped together and focused in one place and then pushed out in a, in a directed, focused space brings result. And that's what he's looking for. So then what does that mean for me? Or what does that mean for you? How, how, how does that word, his word convergence, as far as a concept, how, what does that mean for me this year? Because I'm in the same boat. I am doing a thing, a bunch of stuff from 2022. I've had my fingers in a lot of different pies trying to figure out, hey, how, how am I coming back? And where's it coming back? And how am I going to make this work? And so I've, I've looked at lots of things and I've put my, my like I said, I've, I've connected, put lots of irons in the fire in 2022. In 2023, I'm bringing all of that together, taking away the ones that aren't doing or producing what I want or heading me in a direction I want. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not bad. They're all good things, but they may not get me where I want to go. So my convergence, that stuff for me this year is being, okay, how do I laser focus what I'm doing to produce the result I want? What is the result? Well, my vision for my life. How do I get to my definite major purpose? What is that? Well, that's my 10 million men in 24 months project. That, that's, I, I, that's a must. I have to have to do that. I have to do that. And part of having the long bearded guy, part of this show is part of that achieving that definite major purpose that mission I have to, to make sure I have that kind of connection with 10 million men in the next two years. But that, that the, the, all those bits and pieces, I need to find all the stuff that's going to work. The books that are being read, all the different bits and pieces I have to pull together and, and focus. My next shows, and that's the, some of the business coaches I've talked to recently had challenged me to, to do an online course. And I'm like, I don't have time to do that. And well, you're creating um, content and things and other places anyway. Let's, 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 let's use that content as much as you can in as many different ways as you can. So we've, we've, we're looking at online courses. We're looking at books. We're looking at all these other things, workshops, that will help me get closer to 10 million men in 24 months, will help me get closer to what my definite major purpose is. Does that mean there's going to be sacrifice? Yes, because I, I, I do my show every week. I've got um, a Monday starting in January. That's a monthly show. I've got uh, uh, three books, four, four books going on all at the same time. There's so many things and I got to move. I got to source a home for my family, go and see it, do all the go through that rigmarole of, of checking that out. And then we got to pack a house we've been in for a decade. Um, the one time we, we moved, I had said to my wife after uh, the next time we move, if we ever do it again, I am not going to be anywhere near that place because I hate moving. I, if I could just go away for, for a weekend with it looking just the way it does, once I find the space and we find the place we're going to go and then just go away for the weekend and come home to the new address and it looks just like this again, um, I'm all over that. Uh, if that. If someone has a service or can provide a service like that, uh, you know, we, we, I would absolutely, absolutely do that. Um, it puts so much strain on, on relationships and on budget and all these different things. And you know what, um, 
it, it I, but I think this time is going to be different because my focus is different. The focus, is that something that has to happen? Yes, we've moved a lot. Um, my oldest son, uh, eldest son, he's in college now, but he was in seven different elementary schools. Um, he was in the same uh, high school for all four years, but, but seven elementary schools. And, and we moved a bunch because of my work, we, we moved a lot. And so having the stability of being in a space for a decade almost is, is wonderful, that, that's been great. We've been blessed by that. But now it's time to move on. What are the, what are the, the exciting things that are gonna happen with that? And it, it allows me, because I've got all these other focuses happening, it's allowing me to go, you know what? Is that something that needs to happen? Yes. Is it going to happen? Yes. Is it going to be something that overwhelms? Nope. Is it going to be something that, that is a nuisance? Nope. It's going to be something that just has to happen because it's got to happen. And because I have all these other things happening, my laser focus on, on 10 million men, 10 million men, 10 million men, 10 million men, getting that message out, getting my message out of hope. There are positive ways to deal with the, the emotions we all feel every day, but didn't know or were taught not to show as guys. There are ways to deal with those things in a positive way so that they don't overwhelm us. So we don't push it down and make ourselves sick. So, but, but that, that's the mission to get that message out is going to get laser focused this year. I'm already in the process of, of doing bits and pieces of that, of, of weeding out the stuff that I'm like, you know what, I can't do that this year because I love doing it in the past and there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't, it's not going to get me where I want to go this year. So I'm not going to spend any time and effort doing it. And I go back, that brings me sort of, uh, round full circle to I can't step into the future thinking 2022 carrying that baggage with me I gotta set it down and be okay with the fact that I'm setting it down I'm not carrying it with me we need to set down the baggage we carry so much shit that's not ours we carry so much stuff that has nothing to do with us Put it down. It's weighing you down and stopping you from getting where you want to go. It stops me from getting where I want to go. So I'm, I, I set it down. I'm not carrying that stuff with me. I'm going to take the lessons of it for sure, but I'm not going to carry it with me going forward because I can't. It's going to stop me. It's not what others say about us that will stop us or say to us that will stop or defeat us. It's what we say to ourselves that will stop us and defeat us. So we need to put it's a garbage in, garbage out, right? If I put garbage in a computer, I'm gonna get garbage out. If I put crappy stuff into my life, I'm gonna get crappy stuff out. If I put crappy food in my body, I'm gonna get a crappy result. Why? Because it's, I can't expect my Ferrari and I don't have one, but I can't expect my, my performance automobile to work the way it's supposed to if I put the lowest grade of, of gas in. If the lowest grade of fuel goes in, I'm going to get a lackluster result on the other side of that. I have to put in the highest grade. I have to put in the best stuff for my body to respond well. And I have to do the same thing with my mind. I have to put the best stuff in here. Why? Because if I don't, I'm going to get a crappy result. If I hold the baggage of stuff that's happened in the past, I'm going to hold it all in my mind. You know what? I have to let it go. Why? Because it's going to stop me. It's going to stop you. What you hold in you is going to stop you if you if it's not a positive thing going forward. It's going to defeat you. Don't let that negative take up space or rent space for free in your mind. Let it go. Choose. It's the choices. We're all where we are because of the choices and decisions we made. Choose better. Make better choices. Is it hard? Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely. freaking lutely it is. In the long run, on the long game, yes. Is it hard today? Yes, maybe. But in the long run, it's what will get us where we want to go. It will fulfill us. Choose, choose, choose well. My shout out in, as we go to this, this, this uh, last break here before we're done is for myself. If you, if you resonate with this information, if you're a guy, or, or, and I'll work with anybody, so I, I don't want to cut that off that way, but, but um, that if you don't know what to do with your emotion, if you're struggling in any way, as a suicide survivor, I understand. 
if if you have depression, if you and this time of year that is way heightened. If if you have have had thoughts in that space, it struggles with your mental awareness. You don't know what to do with your emotions. You're, you're I got I, I don't know what to do with it. I'm lashing out, or I'm I'm acting out, or I'm doing stuff, or I'm looking for coping mechanisms that are not not helpful or not ha that are, don't make my life happy. Don't reach out to me. The, reach out the longbearded guy at gmail.com. The longbearded guy at gmail.com. Reach out to me. I've got group group coach. I've got one on one coaching. I've got other programs. I've got book. I, there's lots of stuff ways to plug into what I've got going on. If you want me to come and talk to your church or your um, organization or your company or or to your your kids group, your men's group, please reach out the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Happy to help you. This movement for 10 million men is, is already collecting a lot of steam and, and, and attracting men from literally all over the world. It's been wildly humbling. But if, you, if that resonates, if some of my message, if any of my message resonates with you, reach out and, and I'm, I'm here to help. So as we go to this break, again, don't forget to pause and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale the abundance and inhale the positivity. Inhale the good stuff and exhale the negativity, exhale the bad stuff out of your uh, out of your mouth as hard as you can. Inhale through your nose, exhale, ground yourself, focus yourself. And we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We got a really good call to action this week. So stick around. We'll be right back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thanks for being here. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with. You're with uh, the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, long bearded guy on Inspired Choices Network. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks for sticking to the last, I uh, did this last little piece. I want to review a little bit. Success requires payment in advance. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to, to be a, pay that in advance? Are you willing to stick on that train because you know, hey, it's going to get me where I want to go? Have a plan. If you don't have a plan, get a plan. If you're not using a journal on these, you show up with a journal to write stuff down, you should be because you're not going to remember. You're, excuse me, again, the intention, the intention is to remember. Good intention, great intention, but you're not going to remember. So you write it down. That way you will remember. How bad do you want it? Is it a burning desire? It's a must. I have to, have to, have to have this happen. I have to have this happen. If that's where you're at, uh, then excellent. If you're not there, why not? How can I help you get there? What other tools can you have? Are there people around you that can that can help you, motive, uh, inspire you? You can't motivate other people. You, we motivate ourselves. We inspire other people. So do you need somebody else to inspire you? If you do, reach out. I can help inspire you. If you're looking, for, there's other places. Read, pick up a book. Um, JR's books are great. Uh, Building Your Coaching Empire. Uh, there's so many good books. Flashpoint is a great book. Austin, Austin Haynes. Uh, Law of Success is a great book. Napoleon Hill, you want some basic, basic meat and potato stuff? Uh, that's a great place to start, the Law of Success. But remember, we can't step into the future 
thinking about and holding on to the past. Upgrade yourself more or at least at the same amount that you raise and upgrade your technology. Have a strategy, not just be tactical, not just do stuff. Be strategic in your partnerships this year. Connect with people that, that are going to lift you up. And if they're, if they're not encouraging you to move forward and have pom-poms and are, you know, go, 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 and celebrating your wins, if that's not who they are, you're in the wrong tribe. Move your tribe. Find other people to surround yourself with because they, your tribe will, will absolutely encourage you. Your tribe will absolutely push you forward and will celebrate your wins. They won't be threatened by them. They want you to succeed. That's your tribe. Think long-term, not short-term. Have a long-term vision by, by doing and being present in this moment right here, right now. Give yourself that gift. Find ways to be present right here. The call to action for, uh, for, for this week, what are you willing to pay for your success? What are you willing to pay? Write it down. Declare it. This is what I will do this year. This is what I'm doing this year. Commit. It's mine. I'm going to have this. I'm going to do this. I'm burning desire. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. Make sure that that's in alignment with who you are and what your purpose is. And then there's nothing that can stop you because if you have a way to get it done, nobody has a way to stop you from getting it done. We stop ourselves from getting it done. Have a plan, work the plan, declare it, commit, write it down. What are you willing to pay? And that's where a lot of times the hiccup comes. I'm not willing to pay. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want that, that uh, sacrifice. I don't want to do that. I don't want to give up the things I like so much. Then you have to be happy where you are. And then you have to be okay with that. Because not making a choice is making a choice. Not making a decision is making a decision. And the time's going to happen anyway. The next 12 months are going to happen anyway. What are you going to do with the 12 months? How are you going to be better tomorrow than you are today? And you do that every day. At the end of the year, you're in a completely different place. But we have to focus on right now. The call to action is figure out what are you willing to pay and then be okay with that. If you don't want to pay, don't pay. And that's okay. I still love you. You have infinite value for no other reason than you are. That's what Papa tells us. If you want to move forward, you have to pay in advance up front. I'm challenging you, pay it. Whatever it costs, pay it. Why? It's worth it in the end. That's legacy. That, because you'll be pouring that into everybody around you. You're lifting everybody around you. And you, whether people, you think there's people watching you or not, there are people absolutely watching what you're doing. There's people paying attention how you show up. There's people paying attention to how you show up. Whether you believe that or not. Show up for yourself. Don't worry about what they say. Don't let the person that stops you or the thing that stops you from getting where you want to go be you. Next week, next Friday, we're going to talk uh, ready, set, be is next week. Ready, set, be is next week. And my, my thing is going to have strategic going forward. They're going to have a plan. So bring your journals, write it down. Make it another great week. I love you. Massive hugs. Live abundantly and with intention. Have a plan. Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. We'll see you next week on Friday. Bring a friend in your journal. Bring it on. See you next week. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week leading with love, 
powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.